views and opinions expressed on Geeks Under the Influence are that of the panelists and not of our sponsors, Amazon.com and TeePublic. Parental discretion is advised. On the prior episode, Lowdown said something about shutting the fuck up. Scotty P mentioned being a geek father a few times. Hobbit, what did Hobbit do? Give me something. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. He mentioned flop sweat. Yeah. And Hobbit mentioned flop sweat. Now we continue with the adventures of part two of this exciting adventure of the GUI Showrunners podcast. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm like, nice. Quick, was, quick rundown. If, if for some reason you didn't listen to the first part uh, before you started the second part, which is weird, we've got. <laughs> if, if you're weird, if you're mm-hmm. weird, uh, then uh, we've got Scotty P. Hey guys, fuck you, Hunter. What's up, Lowdown Brown? Yo, and then Mike the Hobbit. We. Has this been an adventure, Hobbit? Uh, a unexpected journey for sure. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> that, was a, that was a joint one. I, yeah, I know. I saw, thanks <laughs> for the handoff. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> for the hand job? What? Yeah, well, that too. Yeah, later. okay. Again, that's why I, that's, why I, that's why I expected. The dry jacks. Right? Hands above the table. <laughs> is, it, is it bad that I expect Never. the hand job to happen and not the handoff? One happens more than the other. So Very I'm true. Thinking, yeah. 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 Okay. It is right. true. Consistency is key. So, I, I'm 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 utilized a lot more. I feel like I'm being used. I'm, it's a give more give than take relationship. He's a kind nurturer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just every time I touch that massive fucking meat missile, uh, just, <laughs> meat <laughs> missile. <laughs> it uh, it makes me sad inside. <laughs> <laughs> I can't touch my fingertips together. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. And... Welcome back, fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Continuing yeah. adventures. I, I, would say, I would say officially going off the rails, but this whole free Thing play has been. Has been yeah. Where we're yeah. going, there aren't any rails, right? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Where we're going, rails, there are no rails. rails. Yeah. Where we're going, there, there are, are no, no rails. rails. God, I made a meme of that at some point, I think. <laughs> Dude, that's another shirt design in that font. Oh, where we're going, we there are no that? rails. Yeah. 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 God damn unless, it. Unless there's another cease and desist for something. Jesus I mean, Christ, man. God damn. I made a incredibly complicated and it took me a long time Dune design that was a licensed by, I think, Warner Brothers. But. And I've contacted our contact uh, with T Public twice. And it's not them. It's literally Warner Brothers has been so bogged down with submissions that now, six months later, they're. Three they're, years from now, they'll go. Okay. They're yeah, like, right. cool. Hey, hey, folks, I get it, but you know, GUI also wants like their first license design, so maybe we can, I don't know, get more license designs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be really maybe cool. it'll be available by the time part two is released. Yeah, right. Yeah. No shit. So, also, Warner Brothers just got bought. Well, true. Yep. True. And uh, so, there I'm sure a merger is. Uh, the yeah. new CEO is talking about basically rehashing the whole fucking DC. Yeah. Universe. God damn it. Come on, man. Being like, you guys Just, fucked up so can hard. I, can no I throw a it. thank you for the uh, April Fool's uh, Snyder? Fuck you. That oh, yes. was oh, you. amazing. Oh, you yeah. saw my reaction. That shit hurt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Like, the one thing DC had going for it is if they just leave Snyder alone. Because regardless of what you feel about, like, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman, because Batman vs. Superman was fucking shit, even the right. director's cut. But that is literally the best they've had outside of this current new Batman in the DC universe, if the new reader iterations. Well, but, but see what they're talking about, because we've always, the an, the animated movies and crush. things they fucking crush. have been awesome. I, like, I'm, I'm watching the newest season of Young Justice as well. And all oh, that. I thought they ended after the last season. Fourth season is on right now, HBO Max, bro. Oh, I thought the third season was supposed oh, to be no. the last season. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not a fan of what they're doing with <laughs> that. Is that a um, werewolf response? I don't no. know. No, that's a good that's a good show though. Yeah. Like, dude, and they have like they've kicked it up a notch on season four. Really? But what the new CEO, like Hobbit, was mentioning is that they're talking about taking everything, and I think the idea based on the article I read is that they're tired of all the different versions and universes kind of living in the same realm they're gonna just squash everything and basically be like 
this is DC. So any movies, animated movies, are all going to be the same universe. At least that's what the way it seemed like it was hinted at. The one that's thing not a guarantee. That, as far as timing goes, uh, there isn't a better time because there is also conversation. This next season of the Flash is the last season, which even people that are that have stuck around for this long for the Flash, which Kyle, is not me, uh, Kyle. Look, it's look, Kyle. I loved the Flash, yeah. and you know what? They had some amazing seasons. Dude, after Crisis, I was done. That it, was god it, damn it. It just it kind of died oh, for me, and oh and the thing is, it's one of those that. They should have ended a couple seasons before, like where we are now, um, and so it's time. And so it being the last season, I'm I'm great, awesome, thank you. Like they did a pretty solid job for for a superhero Absolutely, series, yeah. and but doing any more, it's not it's not good. Is the Flash like, film still coming out? Then I mean, um, I think it's already delayed. made, right? Like it's been delayed again because of uh, Ezra Miller. Yeah, I yeah. Know. That, that how much fucking jacket. how much what is, digitally what is wrong with him? How much can you digitally take the main star out of a movie? Uh, oh, not not no, yeah, much. not enough. Not yeah, not much. Warner Brothers, <laughs> if they weren't bought out by somebody with common sense, if they would just put the dude that was cut out of um of the zombie movie that that uh <laughs> that, that Zack Snyder did. And put him in as Ezra Miller in yeah. the Flash. Fuck yeah, right. <laughs> but, you, you talking about Army of the Dead? Yeah. Army of the Dead. Yeah, yeah the Army they of got, the Dead um, thing. Who was the the comedian that they cut out of that? That they put. Uh, um, oh uh, goddamn! It was I can't remember, but Tig Notaro. Tig took over. Took over. I did a fucking yeah. great job. Yeah, but yeah, the dude that got canceled for like fucking with underage girls. Yeah, uh, right. The whole right. thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, they had, to and they had shot the film, and so they just did everything in green screen and just <laughs> like, like put. Hey, her Tig, in can you place? get into this helicopter? And they get off the helicopter, get back on. Like really, like. Just shot for shot. Just turn your head slightly and the thing is, to you the can't right. Tell. Yeah, yeah. You can't no, tell. No, you can't yeah, tell at all. Really Imagine job. being such a shitbag that you get erased out of a film that you already screen wrapped. Yeah, like it is yeah. wrapped, and they're like, "No, nah, we're getting Tig." And every like, Wait, part like, of you're... anything that was recorded with your face on it is gone or it's deleted. Or yeah. they could be like, "Oh, you paid me." Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure that happened. But back to the Flash, I think um, what they're going to probably is end with the Flash because, I mean, they, they put too much into that with um, Michael Keaton and everything else. They have too much into that. And I think Ezra Miller, there's variants of the Flash. When are they going to Black Miller, Adam? Um, they're being released. Oh, which one's being released first? No, Black Adam's Black already being, like, it's done. No, I'm, I know, but... Um, well, was... they're both done, right? Just, like... I care more about Black Adam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, no, I, I agreed. The only, it's got my man the crush. only, oh fuck, mm, man, fuck that yeah. mountain of a man. Damn right, the Rock, <laughs> Rock, and the, and then put in Jason Momoa. Boom. I know. Right. Damn. Yes. Anyways, uh, it's too much um, sexy in one movie. <laughs> right. Too much muscle in but, one movie. Oof. But I think they they have too much invested for That's Flash. What I about literally every Fast and the Furious past four. It's like there's too many muscly men. Okay, okay, hold on. No, there's too much muscle whoa. and brain. No, Jason Momoa is not exactly the smart Aquaman. Um, never mind. Because Fast and Furious has no brains. No, 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 no. no. That that one is mindless. Yeah, explosions! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> we, we're in space in a car. They turn into a spaceship. Are you guys what right? Fuck. A Actually, Fiero. putting constructive uh, thinking into a Fast and Furious movie. Have we covered this enough? You we do have, not do oh God, that. Stop. You are breaking the rules. Stop. A car can't be in space. Yes, uh, no, a car can't. Be. We're not watching it for that kind of shit, all right? <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Earlier in the same movie, Tarzan over a fucking chasm. Well, yeah, it's because it, it hooked the bumper. It hooked yeah, the, bumper. the bumper. Strong, and strong it, bumper. Intentionally. Hey, yeah. Intentionally. Centrifugal force, bro. Centrifugal force. Always go like, faster. I think he said something faster. like, watch this. And then he like caught the rope with his tire. Like... Motherfucker, you did not plan that. Yeah, don't, on, don't on, ever hey, hey. critically think. Hey, don't hate the game. Live life one quarter mile at a time, bro. That's right, family. <laughs> I think it was about a quarter mile to the bottom of that chasm, and that's where it should have gone. <laughs> hey, anyway, Corona uh, has big stake in that fucking movie series. Okay, so that uh, that literally goes to tell, like, if we were talking about Marvel, we never would have div divvied over into Fast and the Furious. Fuck no, now, it's, it's fucking DC. There you go. But D I think DC is still going to wrap up everything that they promoted. What just a few months ago with their big DC con as thing. As I, I think the smart move, the smart money goes to that uh, the Batman. It's so that fucking just good. Drop the day that we're recording this. It's very good, uh, and it's very dark, and it's also not connected at all to the Snyderverse. 
so that's how you do your reboot. Is that like, oh no, we already started it, I guess. Right. Uh, and then you do like a ultra dark. Well, how version. do you incorporate Joker? Joker already got incorporated. Yeah, it was a deleted no, scene. I'm talking no, no, about no, Joaquin you, Phoenix. You don't. The movie Joker. Oh, well, the, the, the way well, that you incorporate that is, and that was already thing that was talked about, is that that Joker may not be the Joker. He's the, the first he's the, iteration the, the of the Proto-Joker. Proto yeah. Yeah. Which, yes, because, god damn, that movie's so good. And also, yes. yeah, if you can, yes. like, backdoor incorporate that as, like, a prequel to the Joker, where it's the person that this dude got inspiration from to be the it's Joker. It's the person then, that literally well, broke, well, who technically wasn't bad innately go, that now we have the joker that is no just a straight fucking go back, sociopath go back yeah. to go back but go back to the the red hood exact criminal yeah, red hood aspect yeah. of you know he got inspiration from the joker after he falls in and do all that shit mm -hmm. fuck yeah that would be brutal yeah be ready. so are you guys for the whole retcon uh m and m not uh there's a couple really good properties in the dc universe unfortunately they're gonna get wiped with everything else but right. wonder woman the first one's like one was shit yeah i mean yeah, i they, didn't like if, if they come about yeah. what they plan i mean that's the kevin, oh you mean like when kevin, marvel did i was like, like kevin <laughs> feige, <laughs> kevin feige, look, guess how many movies came out before the avengers movies enough to introduce the avengers all the avengers yes. and before they became a group how many movies came out before you got justice league two 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 two, two. Um, and our introduction prior to that was what? Um, no, wait. 30 wait, second you got, you footage. Suicide Squad first, you know, more uh -huh. Batman. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Just uh, the new CEO <laughs> yeah. of DC that's making all these big changes um, and is planning on a connective universe is actually called uh, Fevin Kaihi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's just a dude with a mustache that looks exactly like Kevin Feige. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that he might have some ideas. He's crossing. Mm, he around. seems like a smart man. He seems like a smart man. <laughs> it's that mustache that makes me that, trust that, him. But no, in real talk, that would kill him. <laughs> oh, God. Take on right? two properties. That would destroy oh, that man. He, not only is he dealing with the m cinematic universe, he's also hands in all the shows how the fuck but he already looks like the guy that is like using a magic eraser to wipe off all the crayons on the garage door like <laughs> that's the look on his face all the time like yes we're gonna have this happen and people asking questions like yep no that's a thing that's happening and just like dead-eyed <laughs> tired <laughs> like he's so t he's he's maybe the tired most tired man in hollywood in hollywood Period. Probably. Like, seriously no shit. What, what level are we at now um what generate now phase four with yeah, phase 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 four. Four. yeah. come on we're now to Moon Knight, characters that I am just blown away. We haven't even got into any... the Kree hardcore yeah. yet. But I'm oh, just saying, right. fuck. Like, he's already covered the mainstays, and now we're on to, like, third level Dude, we're doing characters. a Miss Marvel. We're doing meanwhile, a fucking Miss Marvel. Meanwhile, DC Damn right. fucking, <laughs> DC tripped up on their main crew, all right? Secret Invasion. Secret that's Invasion, That's going to be the yeah. biggest tie-in series that's gonna be that they're so going to be. Cool. Secret Invasion, oh, see, that, that, yeah, is pretty, dude. that is huge in Marvel. Secret Invasion right. is huge. But I'm just saying, like, you're getting, like, is it Ms. Marvel, fucking She-Hulk. I mean, right now, we've got an airing Moon Knight. Who the fuck ever yeah. gave a, like, that, that's what fucking, I'm who the Bucky's, fuck? Moon Knight was kind of, everybody said, oh, that's just the Marvel version of Batman. It's fodder. Yeah. It was fodder in the Marvel, right. set, you know, comic world. This, we're, they're, like, still setting up all the big dogs they got from Fox they're going to be rolling in that are the most important characters. You mean out the of... Fantastic Four and the X-Men? Yeah, and the Deadpool. ones right. <laughs> that, that they sold the rights to because that was the money makers. They were like, Spider-Man, uh, and then Sony was like, nope. we don't know what to do. They're like, cool. Um, no, no Spider-Man like... still is owned by Sony. Yeah. yeah. Oh, still, technically. Sony yes. still owns them. No, no, no. no. So, Sony, saw, is... Sony saw a little bit too much green on that one, and we're yeah. like, yeah we'll, yeah, we'll work with Fox you a little like, bit. We'll work yeah. with you. We're not <laughs> releasing the reins just exactly. yet. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after Morbius, they're probably like, ah. Well, that's the funny thing is that they're like, yeah. Yeah. They're like we, we don't need your help just with Spider-Man. And like, so we can do whatever we can with the other characters in Spider-Man's universe. Like, yeah, go ahead. And then, oh, shit. Then Venom 1 Morbius comes out, and people are like, okay, it's yeah. okay. The second Venom comes out, and it's like, okay, it was fun, but Jesus Christ, dude. Getting, what, right. well, that, it was edited, I swear to God, and I, and I stand by this, you can just tell how hard that movie was edited, and that was mm -hmm. the fu fucking problem. And it's carnage, yeah. and it's not you, like- You mean again, R, where literally right. there's a character Fuck, who is in a trunk in a car, and the next scene is driving, and you're yes. like- you, how did you? Don't worry about it. Don't, yeah, you're in the Wait, trunk. Not even gone. better. I, I, I've ever watched it since then. How about the breakout scene? He literally comes through the door of the main prison hall and then like throws his thingy things around and then like oh, the carnage the, tornado. The carnage tornado. Yeah. And then the next scene, he's literally three quarters of the way down the hallway. I'm like, how the fuck did you? You didn't jump. You were walking and just stabbing people. 
Like you were just slow walking, stabbing. The people. biggest superpower is the control of the frames. <laughs> the frame rate. Yeah. I yeah. control the frame rate. They call uh, me the editor. But it, it's, it's, it's funny because oh. both Venom movies. <laughs> that's good. Actually, it's pretty good. Admit, it's pretty good. Both Venom movies are not really that good. No. But we're willing Tom to Hardy forgive. is the reason they're no, good. Tom Hardy's right. But then and you Woody get Harris to yeah. then you get to that third Sony. Spider-Man universe movie, yeah. and we're like, "Fuck no, I'm not watching that." No. Shit. Yeah, the thing yeah. is, is that that got pushed back for like two years. It got pushed back. That they were like, "Up, oh, got to wait for Morbius," and no one was excited at the at first no. about it. And they're like, "Got to wait," and we're like, "We're we're not." Yeah, like we're not. So making- guys, just let you know, April for, April were released like right next to April Fool's Day is <laughs> when they released it. Like. <laughs> You know, mark your calendar. Like, oh, I'm, I'm marking my so calendar, it's, right? It's like right. That, that coworker that has a band that's been practicing, and they're like, at, "Look, I think we have something up, lined up next month. I'll let you know, like, so you can and go." Like, and oh, you're yeah, like, "Okay, you know, cool, oh, yeah. cool." And they're like, "Uh, it didn't work out, but like in three months we have another gig, and we're gonna do that." And you're like, "Great, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be there." And then he's like, "Oh, that didn't work out." And he does this for like a year, and he's like, "Oh no, we're playing the fucking Elks Lodge." Um, in, 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 in fucking June, are 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 you there? And you're like, cool, yeah. And you're like, oh man, I'm sorry, I was busy. Like, I yeah. don't, I don't care. My kid got I, sick. Yeah, I do not care. But like, I feel like that. Um, I was strictly for the fact that I never thought I would see Morbius in a film. Like, I loved him in the comics, and I loved him in the animated 90s series. I, I mean, I've, Even I've, how much they had to change him in that animated series. They still did a great job yeah, with the exactly. character. Oh, the hands? Yeah, the hands. Yeah, the hands. The play, yeah, the play. Dude, I, don't, they, they, I think they wrote him really well. And so for me, when I saw there was a Mor- Morbius movie, I was like, oh, shit. And uh, plus Jared Leto, which you can say what you want about him. His, 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 his like catalog is definitely a higher percentage towards the good versus bad oh, films. His character acting is phenomenal. Yeah, when it comes down not to not it, worth what the I, I, actors have to deal with from his ass, though. No, I feel right. like he is, I feel he, like, is, he is extra as fuck, right? Right. I feel like our showrunner page is a kind of a determination of how bad a comic property is going to do when there's no excitement, a la Eternals, a la fuck that this, movie. This mo- God damn it! Like if there's no excitement, and movie. and when there's excitement, you go, hey, who's going to see this or what? You know, when Man. should we try to stuff? When there was no mention crickets. of it, that it was crickets. That crickets. That movie is really fucking bad. Because at least nobody's mentioned that shit. At least you shit. get like, oh man, I, I you know I'm ready to like, see it, we... but I can't fucking see it in time. Like that's the minimum we get for something that people yeah. really are into. Like when you get crickets, you're like, they don't even. We never yeah, really fucking cares. Anything right. Eternal is related at all. Fuck that. That movie sucks so bad, <laughs> dude. It was so bad. I, I finally watched that on Disney Plus. Did after... you fall asleep? Did you watch it in like three parts? Fuck. Basically. God um, damn it! It's but terrible. I totally took that movie as okay, great. This is the little in between story that they're telling before Phase Four. Oh no, no, off. it's a huge part apparently down the line of Phase Four. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, they just, Kevin Feige is like, nah, I'm just gonna that, wrap that, that shit exactly up. Exactly what Hobbit nah. was saying, Kevin, just erasing a timeline off there. You got to rewrite well, something. Initially, <laughs> it was supposed to be like a huge chunk of moving down the line now for it's Phase the Four. After credit scenes are the huge chunk of life. <laughs> right. You don't have to watch the movie. Just the credits parts of that movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Like no. in, yeah. In the yeah. Incredible Hulk, when they set up the leader uh, in that movie, and then I guess Never. he's just fucking off and <laughs> yeah, just being he's smart. <laughs> he's, right. He's just in Vegas winning money. Yeah. Like, that's all go. he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah. counting. He, the leader, they're just like, nah. <laughs> Loki's popular. Fuck the yeah. leader. Oh, God. I'm just saying, Jesus. Marvel yeah, lucked wait. out that Spider Man uh, Far From Home came out like right after Turtles. Because all these shit talking that happened, Turtles disappear because everybody's like, "Fucking Spider Man!" There's three Spider Man. Dude, like it distracted by it from you know Marvel had a bomb, right? Like that movie bombed, but nobody talks about it because it came out a month before. Well, they Spider-Man. had Black Widow slightly bombed too prior to this. Well, that was a whole, that was a weird that, thing that was a, too. B- that yeah. was because of based on how it released digitally. Yeah, I, I have everything. zero reason to watch that film. No, I mean, I like I like Black Widow. Fine. It's good. No, um, the I timing like it. just, is horrible. I would never, I would never I punish somebody by making them watch Black Widow. I would do that with Eternals. I'm like, you <laughs> fucked up. Now you sit down for two and a half hours. I don't care how stupid right. it gets. Yeah. Look, yeah. I was worried that the bomb was going to happen before Endgame. Uh, that they were setting up this whole fucking thing, and then they were going to end with a big old green splat of bullshit as the like the crescendo of the story. And right. the fact that they nailed Endgame. And then pulled in the, that entire arc together into oh, that so like good. that cohesive Fuck, story. Dude. Um, I'm like, cool. You get a couple bombs. Like you're you're yeah. You're, no, you, Marvel. You, oh, Marvel can to... have a negative. Like they really never had any 
straight up bombed up to that point. They had ones people didn't like as much. Dark World. And, See, and people yeah, say Dark right, World. No, fuck no. the first Thor movie. I don't give a fuck what but you apologize. Again, say. Like that fucking movie's Thor boring movie. as shit. But again, all those that we talk about, I'll still watch before I'll ever watch Eternals. Eternals is unwatchable, my opinion. I would watch the first yeah. Thor over that. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They made an unwatchable Marvel movie, which yeah. I never thought and that's was where, possible. And that, that's, that's the level that I'm putting it at is like, that's like the first unwatched. Dude, that's the first movie that, Marvel movie that my son and I have gone to where <laughs> both of us fucking fell asleep. Jeez, oh, never, has that's never first, fucking happened, That's dude. the first Marvel movie where my son looked at me 30 minutes and went again, uh, how long is this movie? And that's the... How long do we have to sit through this shit? Like, like that's you know, never happened in a Marvel movie before. They so. literally made Icarus kill himself by flying into the fucking sun. God uh-huh. damn it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jesus, uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. I'm sorry. It's so. Uh, uh, dude, I saw that. I literally was just. <laughs> <laughs> He's flipping are, off. Are you talking about Captain Downer? Yeah, I was flipping off the screen yeah. in the movie theater, and my kid was still asleep. You're talking about I- woke up. You're talking about Icarus, Captain Downer. Who, yeah. Every time there's characters that are excited to see each other, he comes up and goes, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like that makes everybody just depressed and upset. I'm like, God damn. And he's doing it to the audience, too. Yeah. 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 So it bad. Was bad. The so biggest bad. Real bad. downer of that whole movie is that it was the first time that there was a major character in a Marvel film that was like of the LGBTQ community. And... And they showed it, and it was really like warm and charming and and lovely. Uh, and it was just it had to be in that movie. It's yeah. it's, it's like yeah. it's, I know it's like yeah. Black History Month being in the shortest month. You yeah, know? it's almost like God, and, bro. and and <laughs> right and the coldest, the coldest, shortest month and the too. coldest month. Like no one's going out to party, and you have the <laughs> least amount of days. Cool, and the Great. shortest days the of the entire. Days, like, yeah. It's like it's just a whole like. All right, sorry, I hit the mic. Got. Uh, Fuck. All riled breathe, up. Breathe. Oh, <laughs> and Angela Jolie sucked at it. Like, Me- yeah, let's get them all riled up. Meaty, so. meaty mix no, is getting handy Eternals over there, went, so. went against the entire ideology of the Marvel Universe, where they, when, especially when right. they bring in B characters, they bring in new actors. What they, they fucking line this shit up with fucking Selma Hayek, fucking Angelina Jolie. Yep. What? You like right? blew your load on a fucking budget. How about you write a fucking story? God damn it. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I 100% agree. That's something yeah, that I mean, before this movie came out, I was like, part of the charm of the Marvel movies is you're creating celebrities in these films. You don't yeah. really get ones that are already like ultra famous. Yeah, I forget the fuck Stuku played it, Icarus, but he was famous It too. was the opposite of yeah, how uh, he was Guardians. Game of Thrones. With Guardians, you introduced these individual no, characters Jones, no. and then you put them as a he team the... element and it worked. No. And in Internals, you already had them as a team and then you split them up and you're like, I don't. Why would mm-hmm. I care about these? I don't care about I don't any care. of you. Yeah, there's Bullcut McGee uh, <laughs> in this fucking movie <laughs> that he's just like I like controlling people and like really wish you wouldn't. He's like I'm gonna, and they're like, all right, all right, whatever. Like, th- like th- that's the whole thing is that the whole point of the movie is that they can't go against their god, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, cool, uh, let's not do that. The entire time since the t- time they broke up to the time they get back together. He's been controlling people the way that they told him not to control yeah. them. And then when they're like, no, we need you because the, the, the fucking deviants are back. He's like, cool. And there's no conversation about you literally like ruined <laughs> hundreds of people's lives. Did you do the thing we told you not yeah. to do? All right. Well, don't do it. it. Don't do it again. The next hundred. Next hundred yeah. years. You, shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. And then he's fine. And then he's like flirting with chick again. And they're like, "Oh yeah, like we might fuck." And totally don't. And I'll I'll be honest. Like, <laughs> don't fuck. Don't, really don't, don't fuck. fuck bowl cut. <laughs> do not do not bang the bowl cut. No, I, no bang. I, I on was the bowl a little cut. nervous that people were going to no. take experiencing that with Eternals into something like Moon Knight because Moon Knight's not a well known property. But so far, it seems like people have yeah. not. Well, have, that, have, that has a lot to do with who they cast as Moon Knight. Yeah. He's so oh, good. I, 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 I damn near will follow damn Oscar right. Isaac off of fucking Cliff, that gorgeous bastard. Damn right. Him, can we just, I, I got I to gotta say it again. Can we talk about, was it him crushing it and doing, or was it his fucking beard? Holy shit. That beard was goddamn that was glorious. A stunning beard, was my it? friend. Dude, right? That was a gorgeous beard. That was one of the best be- Like, just the right amount of pepper yeah, on right? it. Just yeah, the right dude, amount. That beard. Perfectly chiseled beard. God. It was the beard that ruled the people. I mean, seriously. <laughs> that fucking beard, dude. That's a shirt. Yeah. That's, yes, the, that's yeah. a shirt. That was, I mean, seriously, when they showed him in the first scene when he's signing when he's signing uh, the contract, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. God damn, dude. Why haven't you had done a beard before? Fuck. 
And also, I will say that I do have a, a couple of misgivings about Moon Knight. Uh, no, nothing too major. I, I have been enjoying it. But the fact that Oscar Isaac is Moon Knight is the thing that's keeping me in. Oh, absolutely. Like, that if oh, it was sure, another yeah. actor that was yeah, doing it. I gotta and say. the thing is, because it's Hollywood. It would be a hard it's play. Egyptian, for sure. There's two people that you can go for. It's like Oscar Isaac or Ben Kingsley. But I also uh, kind of oh, want to see the Ben or, uh, Kingsley. Or uh, what's, his what's his name from? Uh, oh, they could use that and tie it into <laughs> Iron Man 3. Yeah, right. And, uh, uh, or, he's like, I'm also Moon, Moon Knight. Knight. You, forgot about, uh, you forgot about what's his name for Bohemian Rhapsody, who also oh, is in that. Oh, Rami Malek. Yeah, yeah. Those three. Honestly, he wouldn't have done a bad job. He does yeah. not look anything like No, like, no he, yeah. but he would no. have done the less lovable like fuck up in the first episode when he's really figuring out the, he has the, alternate the personalities. Steven personality, yeah. yeah. Well, he already yeah. Did Rami the, Malek would have been the serious did dead the, eyed Mr. Robot fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, he right. did the Mr. Right. Robot yeah. thing, yeah. so it's a little too close to what oh, he's already but it was, done. That was so good. That was really good. I'm so glad yeah. he's getting like Hollywood money, but like when he was doing that you know, TV series stuff when yeah. it's like a dark fucking role. Yeah, he's a good fucking actor. Yeah, he's yeah. really good. He's a really he's good got actor. It. Yeah, and yeah. obviously Freddie Mercury. I, yeah, I love the Freddie Hollywood. Mercury. is just like yeah. Egypt. Uh, I mean, we get like three people. Yeah, there's um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay, so Ben Kingsley too old. Uh, Remy doesn't want to do. It. Oh no, Oscar, you, cool. you could have gotten uh, Jake Gyllenhaal to do. Persian again. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the, 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 the Prince of the Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> Prince of Moon Knight. That Kingsley in it, too. Uh, <laughs> no, don't forget uh, Gods uh, of Egypt. Uh, uh, oh, that's Christian oh. Bale Ger and... Gerard Butler. No, 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 it was uh, Christian Bale and the guy from Warrior. He played the older brother. He played the Pharaoh. Uh, didn't it also have one of the dudes from Game of Thrones in it? Yeah, it, it had um, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, Lannister. Jamie Lannister. Yeah, Jamie Lannister. Really white motherfuckers, man. Come now, on. I haven't seen that like, one, but oh, in terrible. Prince of Persia. It's fucking terrible. Why is it that the uh, people have British accents in Again, that part of the country? In Persia. Yeah. You, you don't have Got to do it. that. You could just, like, Jake and all has a terrible, bad British accent. Oh, That's just, unnecessary. Just Prince of Thieves, Kevin Costner, that shit. Nobody cares. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And for true. some reason, he is doing that. And you're like, you know, the, nobody has a British accent we in this also, part of the country. We, you don't have to do that. We also know he's not brown. Yeah. Like, like yeah. if you're going to put Jake Gyllenhaal as the Prince of Persia, <laughs> yeah. Gyllenhaal, very Persian. That's what I'm saying. Name. Kevin right. Costner, that shit. <laughs> Kevin Costner gave two shits. Everybody else. Has an accent, except for him. He's like, well, no, Chris uh, Slater's wasn't really an accent. It was like a kinda, and then kinda. not. I'm just saying, he's like my home, <laughs> and you're like, really? You sure you lived here? Dude, Did Morgan Freeman like gave more Iowa. of a fuck about sounding like he was from West Africa right, than yeah, fucking right. yeah. like, <laughs> fucking Britain. <laughs> Holy shit! And Christian Slater. <laughs> Fuck me, he cleared it. No, he was just like, fuck me, he cleared it. Just yeah, like right. clean fucking American accent. Um. This is our oh. turn, but we're talking about like you know properties that are coming up with Marvel, but like we haven't really brought up much about what's getting ready to happen with the Star Wars universe. Like, oh, there's a few things on. Well, there's a few yeah. things, things are brewing. Kind of, the new fucking Obi Wan series. A lot of Obi people are worried about. So the big thing that I've been reading and that I'm af afraid of myself that they're going to get a little too fucking cock hungry and like basically <laughs> if you're going to bring in fucking Vader during this, it needs to be completely separate. Where they maybe you can allude to them being in the same area at some point, but they can never meet during this series because that will no. I will fucking not, boycott the shit out of they it. They've already that. talked about that. There, no, they've already talked about there's going to be another duel between them. No, fuck that because the fucking movie. Yep. No, no, fuck that. I, I will stop watching it. Bullshit. Look, it's one thing with the Mandalorian that they started incorporating characters from the uh, the there's prequels time frame because uh, the gentleman that along with. Uh, Fucking John Favreau, John Favreau. Favreau yeah. uh, that was doing it was also the person that created a lot of these characters in the Clone Wars cartoon. Yeah, yes. so right. he knew these characters front to back, and he knew how to incorporate them into uh, that universe. And there were a lot of unknown characters, a lot of new people that you were meeting. So when they pulled in Boba Fett, it was actually really good because it was surrounded by a lot of characters that had been fully fleshed out. Um, when you put Boba Fett by himself, it's like, so what now? I don't know. Like, there's Guys um, come and we fight them. They're they're still like, doing okay. well. How's 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 Mando doing? Let's go back to Mando real quick. Let's go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just like, oh, he's, he has to go in the Bantha tank all the time because he's old and fat. Yeah. This is great television. Uh, anyway, meanwhile, in yeah. another universe, Mando finds. I feel Luke, like uh, wait, Luke yeah. is training fucking Grogu. <laughs> all right, like, I've right. got a good five episodes for Boba Fett. Like we're supposed to have eight. Ah, uh, shh. 
shit. Uh, yeah. we, we how's get, Mando doing? Like, yeah, we, we can still talk about Mando, right? It's the same universe, well, but, right? But hold right? on, but hold on. on. About Mando, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Uh, anyway, yes. ignore that. Please. <laughs> the, I'm trying. I'm naming the episode they that. Did, Fuck you. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> dirty, dirty He does man. have the power. The, uh, he does. Yeah. He does. The, yeah. um, they did allude to... They did a good setup. If, they, if that was their intention, realizing Boba was like getting dry as fuck, bringing in Mando, especially when he finds the badass forger chick, and he's right. like, "You took your helmet off, or you're no longer Mandalorian." So he has he has no other place to go now. He is not part of yeah. the Mandalorian. So it actually yeah. fits in the writing. It just sucks that like it had to come on the coattails of Boba Fett to tell to show yeah. that he fits into Boba it, Fett. It looks worse right, for Boba right. Fett that they yeah. had to do that. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I'm saying. Carry a show, That's Boba Fett. Yeah. I feel like Robert Rodriguez was like, "I got an idea. We're doing like a Western thing. Uh, have you seen Dances with Wolves?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, "We're gonna do that with the sand, the sand people." Is apparently like the wrong. Tuscan Raiders. The Tuscan, Tuscan Raiders, Raiders yeah. yeah. But they were called uh, the Sand People. Yeah. In the Are we not allowed to say Sand People? <laughs> we're not allowed to, we're who not, the fuck? Who, uh, got, uh, who got pissed off about that? Did I miss something? <laughs> really? <laughs> the it's, term is yeah. Tuscan Raiders. Star you, Wars. You, you fucking toxic gatekeeping fucks. Right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, like, I mean, basically, yeah. <laughs> I missed that? Yeah, you missed that. Yeah, that Stupid was the thing. Like, fucking sad people. You know, in the universe, that is the, like, disparaging <laughs> Listening to their sad people this. music. Because and... Star Wars <laughs> no. is so real. No. Wow. No. So real. Um, you know uh, how so... sad people are. <laughs> so... The... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can that be the title? I, you know how Santa people are. No. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, that is really no, I know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Jesus. No, but yeah, like the, the Tuscans and, and then they're the Native Americans and Kevin Costner is the Mandalorian and he like he's like, yeah, I am one of you now. And they're like, yeah, we like you, Mandalorian. You can be like <laughs> us. And then he's like, cool. And then they all die. Yeah. And he takes their their shit and he like is a better person for it. And he you mean brings it to Boba the, Fett, not Mandalorian. Boba Fett. Or yeah, yeah. Boba Fett. Fett. Yeah, 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 Boba Fett. Yeah. 100% of Star Wars dances with wolves fucking thing, which is weird. <laughs> Basically, and, yeah. I mean, and it's... Robert Rodriguez is just like, fucking let's do this. And they're like, I, okay, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. It worked on Avatar. They start working on it. <laughs> and then as they're doing it, he's like, fuck, this is not working. What's that other dude doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile. Hey, but you know what Mandalorian didn't do? He didn't ride a fucking, uh, what's his face through a fucking rancor? town? A rancor oh, fuck through yeah. fucking town. Right. On Tatooine. <laughs> Robert Jesus Christ. is just like, fuck, I don't know. Mandalorian, get Bryce Dallas Howard to direct an episode. Fuck it. Let's just do like what they did before that worked. I don't <laughs> even know anymore. Yeah. But now, but literally all the end of Boba Fett season one had me looking forward to is season three of Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I mean, it was, though. I mean, like. <laughs> Right, it's he's got a hot rod but, now. But, with, but yeah, they did use all those characters that that are going to be very big in Obi Wan. So I, a lot of the articles and stuff I'm reading is talking about the the time frame of where everyone's going to be at. So we're going to see yeah. Vader at like po right at post Revenge of the like Rogue pre Rogue One post Revenge of the Sith, where he's right. living in that fucking tuning fort castle to channel the. Sith power to keep oh, him, him alive. Oh, on a Mustafar, Mustafar, the, the, yeah. the lava. That's shit. what's keeping him alive is that tuning fork for the Sith, basically, yeah. right? How and bad? Like, how bad is that son though? Because you're gonna go from Ewan McGregor, and you see Luke as a child, right? Yes. And then how old is Luke in oh, New I, Hope? I have no answer for this conversation. The, the okay, I have no has, answer for right, it. He's going no, to my age. answer is the timelines are always fucked when it comes well, to the on. Star oh, wait, Wars. Wait, no, Tatooine has two sons, right? So doesn't time go faster? There you go. Yeah, maybe that's two sons. <laughs> sure. I'm I'm just or yeah. double I mean, science. Double yes. This? Double the uh, the sun exposure, sun UV exposure. rays. So you're saying that when he died, <laughs> yes. he is that, was like is 45. That, you go to oh, Tatooine geez. as Ewan McGregor, you leave <laughs> as Al Geddes, <laughs> and it's a 10 year difference. That's a lot of exposure so to the sun. You show up at like That's two suns. You show up at like 38, 40. You leave at like 65. Yeah, it's because basically, years. honestly, yeah. um, I mean, that Obi Wan and New Hope sons, is dude. what 50, maybe. Oh, dude, he's he's and, gotta be like 60. Uh, well, no, he looks sixty. But I'm saying age wise, yeah, yeah, he's like in his Luke like right, right. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I want something at the end of the, that series. It's to be gotta like, be the two. Don't sons drink though. that. I, no, Obi Wan, don't drink that. It'll age you by thirty but, years. And, <laughs> and, and in combination with that, I believe that's the way the Star Wars has worked. Because if you look at like with reading the original books, they tried to give timelines, and you look at the years, and you're like, how the fuck does that work? I'm yeah. just saying in the trailer, I mean, it's trailer for Obi Wan. You see him watching what we would 
guest would be Luke, and he's Luke's mm-hmm. like five or six. Yeah, and it's Ewan McGregor. Yeah, and we know in A New Hope, Luke's what in his he's a what twenty. Yeah, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gregor is aged forty years. Okay, cool. <laughs> but no, the two sons doesn't make a difference because like the the actual right. science of UV rays does not change. Well, and, and also <laughs> like, uh, burning of the skin. If, if you look at the way the universe is set up, if if you really want to go the if you want to go scientific, I mean, pff, um, push your glasses the, up when you do that. Oh, yeah, scientific. Yeah. Nah. Nah. But is uh because the way the galaxy is is also laid out, they you are talking about outer rim versus inner rim, inner rim. and, so and the core planets. That, that's a so good lead into the, the, the yeah the how the time functions could be different technically because this so. is galaxy that aren't fo- technically following our standard un- our understanding of, of the galaxy. Right, right? exactly. Because that that brings into the Grogu tie-in where like so at the end of Boba Fett when Luke helps go Grogu remember because he like PTSD blocked that shit right like. And he helped him bring his, get his memories oh, back. Yeah. You see, you the see Order sixty six yep. under it, it, yeah. attacking the temple, and then he like blacks out. Well, this is supposed to show like Vader with Order sixty six basically going around killing all the fucking Jedi, well, which is going to be fucking badass. Oh, and, and, more, and, and, more Jedi kids get being killed. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I whatever, dude. I'm just saying that's what that's what the Order sixty six did, bro. You can't. <laughs> and then also. Um, Grogu well, at this point will be in the outer rim somewhere, along with Ahsoka. They like all these people they've already introduced. Yeah. They're supposed to come back in, but you're going to see where they're at prior to, you know, where we're at now with like Mandalorian. Okay. Because yeah. they figure all that's happening roughly like, you know, Mandalorian's post Return of the Jedi. Right. Uh, first that time five frame. Five years after Jedi. But I think. Think, okay, so that time frame is what, like six years? Se- well, seven years, what? Because like it's like what? Like Empire and Return was no, what, the, like a year and a half. There's supposed to be like something like something weird, like a five to 10 year timeline I think yeah, it's, between the I, movies I, I think the first Mandalorian the original trilogy is supposed to be yeah so five aging years after is Jedi. slower so how we the sun thing's gone yeah I don't know because Luke was there's no way Luke was in his fucking 40s Look, in Return of the Jedi it's running memes on the internet everybody's just like yeah like fucking Obi-Wan had some hard years that's like, there's right. two sons Very yeah, that's what we years. decided there's two sons yeah the fuck I think out of you. I think what we're gonna find out is that Obi-Wan runs for president of the planet and that's what ages him so much because if you look at every American president <laughs> yeah. from the beginning of when they start office to afterwards, they're like, "Oh, you're gray now." Yeah, right. You are Basically. gray, yeah. especially ones that get two terms. So, oh, buddy, ooh. look at W and look at Obama. Like, oh, I always, oh yeah. yeah, they were railroaded. Oh, right. It always bothered me. Though. They were railroaded. That's why like when Obama was windsurfing, I'm like, "Good for fucking you." Yeah, <laughs> like, it always bothered me though in A New Hope how Obi Wan he's hiding out on Tatooine, right? You know, kind of not st- standing out because he's a Jedi and they're taking trying to. So he changes his name to Old Ben Kenobi, like, and that's gonna keep him hidden from anybody. Well, it's like, uh, we're looking old, for Obi Wan. Uh, well, there's Old Ben Kenobi. It's still Kenobi is your last name, motherfucker. Like, you're, you're <laughs> right. gonna be in trouble, right? Mar- Marvel universe and Star Wars universe. There's like Shang Chi mm. that changes his name to what? Uh, Sean. 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 Yeah. Sean. Yeah. 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 Fucking Sean. There's like uh, well, Shang Chi. They- I'm going as Sean. They're like. You but sure? How many white crusty motherfuckers are on Tatooine? I'm just saying, changing but, it from to old Ben I mean, Kenobi is not going to give Mar- it. A- Marvel's idea of also going undercover is a baseball cap and sunglasses. So, yeah. well, I, yeah. you know, that's Captain America, and you cover up that hair. <laughs> but, nobody knows who you my are. Big right, thing, my right. big thing with this is, I'm stoked for an Obi Wan series. I will boycott the fuck out of it if Vader and Obi Wan meet prior to New Hope. No, I'm me, sorry, I, I can't, I can't get behind. Well, that I'm at sorry all. to ruin it for you, but because Ewan McGregor has already talked about like where there is a dueling scene between them in the series. But that, is, that, that just makes no it's sense. It's supposed to be him and Hayden Christensen, right? Like, yeah. Are they like slapping each other? Like, what's happening know. here? Like, are they actually? They're not going to be lightsaber dueling, right? Is it yeah, going to be because... Hayden Christensen's voice as Vader? Because like he's Vader at the end of three. Oh, so man. does he turn off his little Vox box and he's just like, "Hey, I hate you. you you're you're why my kids aren't here." <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, hey, yeah. I... you said higher ground. Yeah, but that, but that's right. That that is another thing I forgot. That was Hayden Christensen. Is actually they talked about where he's. Working with Ewan McGregor during for the dueling scene and stuff, they're working together. They're training. Well, then, I mean, it's not really burst my bubble. It's more like, all right, fuck it. Like I, I, well, it's gonna be I'll, there. I'll watch it until I actually see the scene. But then I, I literally will, I will shut it off. Only if you video record yourself, because I know there's gonna be well, more of a reaction. That, not if it's after work in the morning after a night shift. Oh, morning. fair. It'll be fair. like uh, maybe a tear because <laughs> you didn't yeah. fucking care enough and you broke my heart. Because fuck Canon. 
We'll be back in just a moment with some more of our free play episode. But before we continue, I want to talk about our sponsors a little bit. First up, of course, is Amazon.com. You know it. You use it. But if you want to help us out a little bit, make sure you use the link on our links page at GYPodcast.com. Going through that link gives us credit for anything you purchase. So you can spend the same amount of money on Amazon as you're used to. uh, But it gives us a little bit more cash to buy all the important stuff uh, for the podcast. Additionally is T Public. That is the best way to help us out. Sport some of our designs. We've got over 40 designs available on our page on T Public, and you can get there by going to gypodcast.com slash store. Designs of different logos from the shows on the network, uh, inside jokes from the different episodes. We're adding new stuff all the time, and there are sales all the time. So if you don't see a sale when you jump on there, wait a couple days and you just might find one. That way you can show the world your love for the Geeks Under the Influence Network and put a a little bit of cash in our hands at the same time. Now check out some of the shows that are on the network. Coming straight from the mouths of madness, I'm Lowdown. I'm F.U. Hunter. Do you love horror? We fucking do. So this is a podcast dedicated to all things in cinematic horror. We're talking movies, television, composers, special effects artists. We're going to fucking cover it. So if you love horror, embrace the madness. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non-wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. In a world of blockbuster movies, there is another dimension. The dimension of schlock cinema. Join us at Beautiful Disasters on a journey into the fringe territory of B-movie abandon. We review the flicks that are forgotten or underappreciated to give them a proper place in the annals of celluloid history. I'm the Groots. F you, Hunter. Your guides at Beautiful Disasters. Come along with us for a fun ride. May May the the schlock be with you. In a world with too many reboots and remakes, two men will stop at nothing to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit and Atandi as they play by their own rules while pitching new takes on some of your favorite and least favorite films and TV shows. What podcast would dare to bring this upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. Hey guys, Scotty P here with Smash on your left and we are the geek fathers that's right bringing all the trials and tribulations of being a geeky parent so welcome to our world and as always join us or cry there is a conversation we've had on plenty of episodes during this uh this whole fucking nonsense that we do um that there is something to be said about our toys that we love getting played with again and it can be exciting but it's also really like threatening also it's, like oh it's, no it's, it's no, like it was, a level like, of anxiety that goes with it right yeah it's like the the friend that comes over that you know likes to stuff uh set stuff on fire um <laughs> yeah. and then you have to finish your homework while he's in your room playing with your toys and you're like you i don't my, want him in there alone you mean michael bay little kid michael bay is in your room with all your action figures <laughs> and you got to finish your math homework fuck and no. he's left alone with your toys and you're no. like Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. What did no, you do uh, to my Transformers, what you asshole? Yeah, no shit. What, what did you do to Wait, my Ninja Turtles? I know, right? Where's my weapon? <laughs> Raph! No! Why Stop is Jazz ripped shit. in half? Michael Bay's uh, Raph never gets out of the bathtub. That's how that's how that's, bad Michael Bay fucks with this shit. That's true. And, that, and for those of you who don't know, sad, you haven't actually sad. watched the original fucking Turtles movie, hey, fucking shame on you, but... There's that a scene was, where Ralph was, that was in a coma. A sad yeah, fucking... That was a sad moment. It was, man. It was very sad. His was, shell was so soft. It was one soft. of the most emotional moments when Splinter comes out of the flames. He was like, you are my children. And they're like, oh, my God. Yeah. And I'm sitting there as a child being like, oh, Splinter. No, I, <laughs> dude, I rewatched that shit and like seeing Splinter like basically like <laughs> fucking, he's chained to a wall, dude, like bloodied. I'm like, God damn. This, this is hardcore shit. This is hardcore right? as fuck, man. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. It's, 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 but yeah, like, I'm really worried about so we, that. Yeah, Star particular. Wars, that's that's part of it too, is that when somebody takes your toys that you love, there, there's something to be said about like when the story ends. So when Disney picked up where the story left off after Jedi, 
and they were like, we're doing a new trilogy. I'm like, I'm going to give them a little bit more wiggle room on what this looks like because it's not dealing with the shit I already know about. Like, yeah. you're playing with the characters, but you're telling a whole right. new story. So if it is less than, I expect it to be because nothing is going to meet the level of appreciation I have for the original trilogy because I grew up on that shit and I've watched all Damn those right. movies like at least a hundred times a piece. But you can still, like, I don't want to ever not have the hope that it could be something to top that. And that's what sucks is like, I feel like there's got to be creators that can, and writers and, and visionaries sure. that can make something that actually trumps that. But it hurts my know? feelings less when it's like a new story with those characters versus where you're incorporating it into the canon that I already know. And that's where it hurts with like, Kenobi yeah. and Boba Fett because this is you're in my shit now, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. Like yeah. you're in the middle of the shit that I know. Don't yeah. fuck with my. Why are shit. you peeing in my sandbox, yeah. motherfucker? Yeah, that's you know? what, I, I like it if they to handle it like Rogue One, where you have certain levels, yep. but you are you not following? See, remember this that we told you about this before. See this Rogue yeah, One in scroll. introduced in all scroll. these characters. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, none of them are going to fucking survive because we don't see any of them new hope. We get the badass but, later scene. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying, you don't have to fall. You have one rule, which is you got to kill all these motherfuckers before the, by the end of the movie. And that's the only guess rule. Guess what? That's the none only rule. None of them fucking survive. And right. I awesome. like that yeah. better than when you had to go, okay, well, we have to do this because it's mentioned in these other movies. Kind of like. And hey, we got to do this because it's mentioned in the other yeah. movies. So here we go. I don't care about that shit. Do Summon it up, one. Summon make up sure you into kill two the motherfuckers movies. at the end. Yeah. Summon up the two movies. You got your Rogue One done right. Then you have your solo, shoehorn. True. Yeah. Yes, True. that's the two movies. You're by yourself. Like, your oh wait, is... we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring in the uh, the run, you know, um, and then we're, he's gonna he's gonna lose the ship. He's uh, uh, Lando's gonna lose the ship in a poker game. We got we got things to work with. No, fuck fuck you. You know, I never needed you know? to ever hear was Han Solo speak Wookie to Chewbacca. Ever, ever. ever. Right. And somebody yeah. said, you know oh, what we're gonna do? Yeah. We're gonna have that. What's in this funny movie. is that <laughs> Thor knowing. Groot language, I fully accepted. No, no problem. He's like, it was an elective, and I'm like, done, yeah. fucking done. Yeah, right. So, but then Han, so Han Solo, <laughs> fucking trash child, raised without an education on a fucking trash planet, has no fucking wherewithal to learn a fucking second language about uh, like furry people that live on Kashyyyk, <laughs> and he's just, oh, 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 fuck you. Oh, yeah, fuck hold on, hold on. Right. That's your problem. How about the fact that how we get his name? Oh no no no! That's the biggest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, like, wait a minute, yeah, like that's the like, biggest crime. Oh, no no, Han, Hunter already uh, covered that. Yeah so yeah. Solo. Do, like, uh, yeah. You're by yourself. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. name will be Solo. 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 God damn it! Like, I mean, I, it was such. A, I've like, never wanted to be able to like get the ticket from uh, I, what's the Schwarzenegger movie? Um, Kindergarten uh, Cop. No, Last Action Hero. Oh, Last. Action I've never Hero. wanted that ticket more than that fucking scene to just get into that film and punch that guy in the face like, no, no. I want to redo that scene and make it worse where like everybody's waiting in line and so they're just like doing activities to make themselves like like entertained while people are waiting to like ship out and stuff mm. so they have a conga line uh, and then then there's the, then there's a limbo and Han gets down oh, no. so much that he's like I saw what you did on the on the limbo line we're gonna call you so low yeah, <laughs> God, God. I would have taken <laughs> that over yeah, you true. know I but mean almost got, just as bad but we yeah, got yeah, we got yeah. the Kessel run right right that was like the only real I think the scenario setup run. was a little bit different but it, it it still held true because that was that was one of the first biggest debates with Star Wars was the what's a parsec? The parsec yeah. Well, what's a parsec? parsec? It's yeah. not a time, it's a distance. distance. And yeah. it so. was interesting how they explained that. I was cool with that. Yeah. yeah. That it was yeah. actually, you need to get there in a short amount of time or well, the there's, shit goes There's 30% yeah. of, the, of that movie I enjoy. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. that. Yeah. You, know, well, you, know, you, know I, you know what I don't care about? Like I, like I said, the fucking train heist scene in Boba Fett is like, I don't know, Oscar worthy compared to the train heist scene we got in Solo. Yeah, fair. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Fair. I only need yeah. thirty percent of yeah. Solo. That's all yeah. I need to watch. But no, but then you do Rogue One and you you get this like stellar fucking war movie that is goddamn that amazing. Was, yeah. It's fucking amazing. And it's so funny because I went in Rogue One going, I don't know, is this gonna work? I was, I was like, I was actually ready. Shit, this Watch, is fucking the director. Good. The directors made me ready, man. And then I went into the Solo right, and I said, Hey, yeah. people yeah. talking shit, give it a chance. And I went, Fuck this. Movie. I do want the uncut fucking version though that they're. Apparently, all that fucking film got shit can, and we're never going to get the original version, which is apparently like borderline dark hard R for what for Rogue One. God, oh, that's that's, that's what yeah, they, we well they had sure. reshoots yeah. and they cut it to make it because it was too dark. They wanted to make it more Does light. Vader like crush motherfuckers' head and their well, there's that and the war scenes. The war scenes, yeah, yeah, like the actual really, battle because it's really, a fucking war movie. They were it's a doing rebellion. Like, 
like God damn full it. metal jacket style. Like the dude scene. with the giant gun is like literally up inside the guy's like stormtrooper space and just turns into <laughs> right. fucking soup. God damn it, I want that. Right. I love, we with, get more of Forrest Whitaker's character are you, on how he like, kind of gets so are you broken. Me, that was part are you of the telling me that, that there's yeah. a version of Rogue One that turns into Rambo 4 at the end, the end scene <laughs> Rambo 4? Is that what you're telling me? There's yes. A, Do you want to see them throw babies into fires? I'm talking about the last 30 minutes when oh, he has yeah, that fucking when he has that gun, 50 yeah. cow. And he's go, just go cutting back. limbs off with yeah. bullets. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You're saying there's a version of Star Wars the, of that? Holy shit. That, that was such a fun, beautiful disaster. Yes, it was. But no, but appar- <laughs> apparently, because um, everyone was thinking it might come out on the on the DVD, and, but apparently everything got like kind of shit canned during the editing process. God damn. That, uh, it, I, maybe that they, they were lying and, and keeping it hype, but I want to see, because you remember the trailer, the original trailer, has like a shitload of scenes heavy. that aren't in the movie. Now we're used to one or two that don't make the right. cut, but like majority of the original trailers, like none <laughs> of that shit like, is in like, the like, fucking movie. We gotta see the trailer store- separate. We gotta you know? see where Stormtrooper's was... holding his arm, walking around, looking for his other arm or right. something, like, or his leg. <laughs> God damn it. I love what got left in though is the fact that like as a Star Wars fan, you have such a complete disregard and disrespect for stormtroopers the clones of one of the most badass uh bounty hunters of all time right yes <laughs> and, and you're like these guys are such pieces of shit that a dude that is doing what i did with a broom handle in my backyard after watching fucking ninja turtles um can beat them up yes so badly their armor sucks that yeah the, oh the, yeah the armor and, has and always the fact, been horrible the entire star wars universe that's not the thing that they have a problem with they're like no legit yeah. I am like one with fucking, the force, and the yeah. force is with yeah, me. Yeah, I'm one with the force, and we're like, yes, you will fucking are. <laughs> Fuck them. And like, just, <laughs> oh, it's just fucking. Apparently, good. apparently, good. it was ad libbed. But when they kidnap him and they put the bag over his head, he goes, "You know, I'm blind." That was ad libbed. <laughs> that's and awesome. That's so good. So beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, her, uh, nice turn from Star Wars, though, because uh, we were talking about Solo initially uh, a few a few seconds ago. Has anybody seen the still? Of Harrison Ford in the Indiana Jones outfit. No. From, they're filming Indy, where they're filming the new Indiana Indy Jones. Five, oh. Yeah. Dude, that motherfucker's like, what is he, like 72? Dude, he's some 80. Shit. Dude, he 80. Yeah, yeah sorry. He's 79. Like yeah. 79. Look, there are a few um, things he in was, life that he was, need to be cut off 40s. ahead of time. There's Glenn Danzig in a mesh t shirt. Um, now. I think he still tours yeah. in that though. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, just no. It's just saggy man boobs. It, it, right, it, it looks yeah. like hamburger in a fishnet. <laughs> uh, it, it looks bad, man. It looks like, like you yeah. took silly putty and put it like <laughs> like basically. Like you were, yeah. You were trying to catch That's tuna legit. in the ocean, and you caught just like eight pounds of hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like wet. It's like, <laughs> like, like, pushing through all the little pieces. Oh, like, oh God. Oh, ew. So that's not great. But, but in addition to that, like, fucking Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, it's, it, at this point, he, he looks like one of those wrinkle dogs that just has like eight different cheeks. Yeah. On it. <laughs> you just like, really I don't know what you do with that. Like well, well especially like, after Crystal is Skull. He's just going to like that... ridicule like he's 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 going to ridicule somebody to the point of them just giving him the thing. Like no, oh, I thought that up. I thought that. Uh, it's been a museum. Yeah, the, 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 the new movie is scheduled for uh July 29th, 2022. Really? What? Yeah. That's this year. Holy fuck. It's just going to be like all the adventures take place before 4 p.m., which is when it goes to bed. <laughs> yeah. No way. But it's going to start. It's going to start at the local Hardee's at 530. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and it's gonna... yeah. See, Indiana Jones, go to the mall. That's an hour after he waters his lawn yeah. before going yeah. to the Hardee's. Well, part yeah. of the adventure is that he forgot his medication at home, and now he has to get home before oh, no. he gets to the oh, mall. If they were brave, they would just do an Indiana Jones where he's incontinent and he's wandering the neighborhood. <laughs> The adventure is to find Indiana Jones. Oh, oh. oh my God! Yes, the search for the lost grandfather. <laughs> oh, that, that's someone good. did tell me belongs that's in the museum. So I mean, yeah. oh, zing. that's that's seriously you go. cut off. It's you guys can't see us. We'll post this. That's him on set. This uh, old man wow, Jones. Man. So who's the actual like? 
star of the movie because again you... I, mean, I mean are they actually handing over the reins to Shia LaBeouf no no or... no they're not no, they I got shit canned early no. on okay good, I think, uh, good what's her face from Fleabag I think is in this movie who um, so oh, they're, they're gonna switch they're gonna gender swap the character as a, ta- uh, no, as a no, handoff no, I, I think the handoff is it's gonna be a, like a female archaeologist that uh, well, yeah I don't mean gender, gender swap Indiana but I mean like they're gonna gender swap that like for the next the, generation the archaeological yeah, the archaeological side of yo hero yeah he's not because he's not gonna be able to do the stunts anymore this is the gotta be the last one is her name Phoebe Waller Bridge? She's fantastic, and I love her. This has got to um, be the last one. It better like, but like with him in it. With him right. in it. Yeah. Well, I think honestly, the last one was going to be the last one, and then then they decided Shit. to put Shia hey, in. I, I hope they're like, like we there can't, is no such can't. thing as Crystal Skull because I hope they don't. End- I hope they go back to like religious artifacts and they leave aliens alone in this movie. God damn it. <laughs> like, can we Look, do that? it's a simple right. <laughs> there is no such thing as Crystal Skull and if this movie's shit, there's no such thing as this movie because you end three you with so them run, like riding horses into the sunset. The end. end. That's with all. That's, there dad. you go. With it's his perfect. Fucking, like, it's on, man. perfect. It's him and his dad. It's riding yeah, in the sunset. Yeah. Sean Connery. Yeah. We named a dog so Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Junior. You could have done another Junior. Indiana Jones movie where right off the gate, it's his like adult son um, and been like, it's Indiana that it's like his role is in a recliner. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. And then you see the pass off and you're like, okay, cool. Like his son is following his death. Set. Cool. In. I'm in. Or Let's put, do this. or crazy enough, well, put in Indiana in the role of Sean, like, put him in his dad's role with Last Crusade and have yes. a younger version where, you know, Sean Connery was bumbling around as fucking Indiana is like trying to save his dad. He's kind of like a oh, hindrance. God, I almost, I hope- want Indiana to be a hindrance to his son. And have right. that but type they, of movie. Like, and, and was, that was what they were trying to do with Crystal Skull. Is yeah. that it starts with Mary and Raven being like, I forgot to tell you that like they were twins. <laughs> yeah. And then that's the daughter shows oh, up. No. Like I forgot that, like, yeah, well, I have a daughter thing, too. That's we yours. have to you have to you have to keep in the timeline. So four no, was like post no, but I mean they have though. Like four was post um <sighs> Can't World Crystal War II Skull be a fever dream yeah. with the uh New, the new nuclear, fault, nuclear or, testing yeah. sites and all that shit. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the but, Korean War. But so be like I, Korea, I agree, I agree like with Viet, what Vietnam Hunter was right saying, now, though. Mean? Like yeah. Vietnam but, or Desert Storm. But, but with with what Hunter was saying, that's the perfect like layover because also you have them arguing of no, I don't want you to follow in my footsteps. Don't you know? Be the the librarian archaeologist, not the one I was being. Out there doing stupid so Mutt, shit, Mutt, Professor yeah. Mutt, Damn it. right? Yeah. Professor Mutt. Yes, I'm just yeah. saying, Chris Cole, you have him. You have him doing a bunch of ra- like ridiculous shit. Like well, the CGI that was trash. You too, never oh, had yeah. Sean Connery doing the Last Crusade. You know, uh, uh, like oh, you mean oh, you, you, you didn't get he didn't get saved by a, a nuclear fr- God fr- damn. fallout God. In the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the, you mean the fridge that would have broken every bone in his body? And, yeah, the whole yeah. lead line fridge. Right, yeah, that yeah, whole yeah. thing. You know, what yeah, I love yeah. about the first Indiana Jones movie <laughs> is that literally, if you take Indiana Jones out, everything happens the same way. Yeah, like, exactly. They, they literally, they still open yeah, up. He has nothing to do with the success or the uh, or the failure of anything that happens. No, that it's just literally the Nazis being like, "Oh, we're too big for our britches." Melted faces, done. He actually kind of helps them. You think about it throughout the movie because he pulls out the medallion, you know, the the idol at the beginning of the movie. He hands it to him like he he did all the heavy lifting. Secret shit. He figures out where the map room is. He figures, you know, he figures out like he does all the heavy lifting for the Nazis. So yeah, I think the biggest issue that we had with Crystal Skull, and hopefully they learned from that going into this new movie, is. But you know, don't let George Lucas help with an Indiana Jones movie. Well, no, and tying into what George. Uh, I'm tying into. He did help with that yeah, one. I know that's he did. Where, I know. That's why the... the space came in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hobbit had a good point with like, yes, you technically you could take Indy out of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and it's still everything's going to happen the same way. But the thing that Raiders of the Lost Ark did was it literally created what we know as the modern day adventure action, th- like borderline thriller at times yeah. movie. We've got t- potentially that bumbling idiot who is smart, but his d- common sense doesn't really go f- that far with this guy. Yeah. Right? He's very book smart, and he kind of figures everything out as he goes along. But when that movie came out, I mean, and I know, Hunter, that's one of your favorite movies, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You can attest, Number like, two. where did that... S- how, look how it set up everything that we look for in action now. I, but and the, yeah. the, the thing is, the plot's pretty basic. It's all about the action pieces. Well, it's basic, but was it basic when it came out? Think about it. What was that, 81? I mean... The whole point of the yeah, of, of, of Raiders Lost Ark was is that it was 
George Lucas and Spielberg being so excited about the 1930s like serials that were just very short. It was like, pulp. It was all pulp. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, here's your hero. Here's the bad guys, and all this shit happens. There yeah. wasn't a lot to it, but it's the action sequences, the way they, you know, the tricks they pulled that made it that people were like, oh. God damn, this is fucking I mean, the badass. intro to the fucking movie when he's he's getting run down by a fucking boulder, dude. Like, that still is high right. fucking it's little things, scene, It's little dude. things yeah. that they did that made the movie stand out. Like, just the sound of every punch. Yeah. Like, that fight so with the dude. fucking yeah. giant like Nazi a bag of yes. meat. Right? And next to <laughs> the, the plane, and every punch sounds like ending, uh, his face should be mush. Like, <laughs> but it's little tricks like that that made that movie stand out that nobody thought, hey, we should make the punches sound like Hardcore, like something, yeah. something right. as simple as well, that. E- even the off the cuff, like you know, like the ad lib scenes of where he just pulls out the gun and shoots the dude. Yeah, yeah. he's doing all this big sword dance. He's right. like, oh, "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, b- because it, it's it just well, it lays into oh, and like the snakes. Oh, the, the snakes. snake scenes when, get, they, when they go find the ark. He's like the snakes. And, but oh, but yeah, the, good shit. but the whole thing is it, it's like the best way to describe <laughs> Indiana Jones, at least with the uh with the Lost Ark, is that it was common sense adventure. Yeah, like there was nothing. No Fast and Furious elaborate, you know, no, type everything shit to was go believable. With it. Like if you figured this out just in time, your ass was saved. If not, you're dead. Right. That's basically what it was. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And yeah. I'm just like, oh yeah, we can fly across fucking buildings. And then it always show <laughs> yeah. you the ridiculousness of like the fact that you think about it. Indiana Jones rides a submarine to that island. You know, yeah. the thing that goes underwater. You didn't for see it. Most of that. How did he? They had a fight outside of a fucking hot air balloon, dude. Yeah, I know. In air on <laughs> yeah. Temple of Doom. Come on now. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. Kalima. And, and on this note, we are at the <laughs> yeah. tail end of the second half of Geeks Under the Influence. Oh, uh, boy. So think, it's actually nice that the first half was really more about a nostalgia and talking about our stories from doing GUI over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the second <laughs> half was really what a free play has always been, which is just like a free reign conversation about mess. all the pop culture shit that yep. we love so we hit star wars we hit marvel we hit indiana jones like we hit all yeah. the all yeah. the big yeah. the big notes in our fandom and what and what the and what it's doing in the fandom because like as, as old heads as we are like you know we're very active in what's going on in the fandom sure yeah. you know i mean because i mean yep. we were around when these fandoms pretty much came out so <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, we're, we're all, all of us with our varying ages us old men yeah and slightly younger men yeah hey, i haven't had 40 um, yet so yeah, well, <laughs> you're the only one. I know, right? This group. I'm, I'm calling but, it. I'm but calling we, it now. I mean, and and that's part of what uh, I've talked to people where so many of these, like, why the Marvel movies hit us so, like so much more than like say our kids mm-hmm. and stuff because you read dude, this shit, been, man. We read it. We've been there since the beginning. We've been there through Dolph Lundgren, Punisher, you God know, damn and it. shit yeah. like that. Fuck. We've we oh the original Captain America. Right. Oh, God. With the rubber ears? Yes. yes with the yes. rubber ears. Oh, my God. But we've lived through the trial and error to finally get what we have today. That's why we've I, been true. there. This I is, fundamentally just dessert, believe baby. Yeah. that yeah. just like yes. it took so long for comic book movies to get their footing on being like as good as they are now, the next one, uh, because it's our generation that we're hoping and praying for comic book movies. And then we got X Men in 2000 and we're like, oh, finally. And, yeah, and yeah. in the first Blade movie, and we're like, oh, finally! And even that wasn't even close to where they ended up. Yeah, no, but it was right. the best. We could I mean, if you watch for. that two thousands yeah. X Men movie, oh, it's bad. It's oh, fucking it's bad. terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. time. Oh, oh, dude, shit. the fucking claws came the claws out of the out of his Like, holy yes. shit. And now you're like, yes. this is fucking st- terrible. <laughs> I, Are they fighting on the Statue of Liberty? Really? I, right. There was a now. swing around <laughs> the claws. Oh, that was torch. one of the worst <laughs> ones. You want to talk about CGI being way off with dimension and but, everything yeah. on that shit? But, I saw but that movie three the times in shit. the theater because right? it was a fucking X Men movie. Yeah. yeah. Damn like, right. And then move forward, you get. Sp- Fucking Sam Raimi Spider Man again. I was like, fuck yeah. CGI yeah. was trash on that, but it was a fucking Spider Man movie with fucking Bruce Campbell. It was all yes. building up to what we have now. And uh, we're going to see the same thing. And I, I'm putting my fucking like promise on this is that they're already trying and they're doing a bad job and it's garbage, which is the same thing that happened in superhero movies. Uh, you will see in our time when our kids are like teenagers and young adults uh, that you're going to have live action anime being that generation's version yep. of comic book movies. For how much oh. they're already testing the market. You're already testing yeah. the market. How much trying. anime what, has grown? They did Full Metal Alchemist and uh, they did a, a Death Note. Death, Death, Death Note. Note. That movie was fucking trash. They've done a yeah, few. And but they, they tried they, it. 
That's the whole point. Oh, not right. as bad as the fucking uh, Dragon Ball Z evolution. Oh, yeah. with, right. fuck, with fuck face from but again, whatever the fuck. Right. Yeah, I makes a good point. Shit. See, we're talking shit about those early uh, anime into live action, and we were just brought up the Dolph Lundgren Punisher, the rubber ears yeah. Captain America. Yeah. Hold on, so hold on. that's hold on. their Dragon Ball Z is. What our cat, our our rubber ear Captain America That's the was. They're right. the duck. Yeah. They're they're they're, oh, fan, they're yeah, Corman yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah. They're touching right. oh, on nice touch. things that I still I still really like. Like I, I enjoy these anime. Right. Like I enjoy. Oh, and I enjoy, I enjoy Death Note. And I enjoyed right. those comics when those movies came out, and they sucked ass. Yeah. They haven't gotten it yet, just like they haven't gotten video game movies yet. They're still signing yep. on for a sequel. And that's Death another Note. one, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're you're still gonna doing see, it. Yeah. They're going to keep trying until they get it right. You're going to see You're going to see video game movies oh, dude. having Can you imagine a live-action Attack on Titan? Oh, my God. It's going to happen. Fucking incredible. Glorious. That incredible. would be glorious. Insane. All those well, animes are going to be But with The Last Airbender, too. they've already fucked The Last Airbender. With video games, that a live-action Mass Effect They haven't figured out comic books at that point yet, either. Guys, that's true too. let's remember that in the 90s, David Hasselhoff was Nick Fury. That's true. Yeah. And that's all you have yeah. to say. Yeah. Why? They course corrected that Why? shit. Yeah. Why? They, Why did you do that? Because that was a fucking thing. I, God, I know it was, it was a, a goddamn thing. Don't You're like, fuck with the hawk. What's the Jesus 180 Christ. of David Hasselhoff? Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson, cool. yeah. 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 See? <laughs> course correct. Let's and, do that. and that's what I'm saying. Animes <laughs> will eventually true. course correct to good and movies. That's fine. Like, cause they, try, they also tried a, a live action Wicked City. Way back when, and it looked fucking terrible. Yeah, um, Have you ever seen the manga, the manga uh, Wicked City? Well, I've seen. I mean, I, I, I've seen oh no, animated. sorry, I was yeah, thinking, animated. I was thinking yeah, Dark yeah. City for a second, no, no, but no, yeah, no. they Wicked did try City. Wicked City as well. That that was it's horrible. Terrible. That was horrible. Oh, but no, I'm all for live action animes. Like, give me a live action, and I'm talking about old school. Give me a live action Ninja Scroll. I'll watch shit all day. Give me a live action fucking like a Akira? good live action Akira. That's, dude, ooh, but dude. you know that's one of the things they they've been trying that's, to develop that for like 20 years develop a live action Akira if they end up doing it because they've had really Scott attached they've had Taika attached they've yeah. had a lot of big name directors attached and he's having fun the right one then well, that's, that's all I gotta trick. say he's having fun that the right might one. be the gateway that might be the Iron Man when you, one when you can do Akira like, live action it'd be a fucking blockbuster yeah, then you know right. you, doors open but doors that's fucking is, open yeah. is, is that could Good be call. your gateway and you, you gotta yeah. be careful with that because it's Akira but, uh, well, dude Akira. everyone knows Akira and, and I don't agree what you said about the directors though because you could have the great director but if he doesn't have the right support and the right way to do especially for Akira no. to do the effects oh yeah that's true I mean he, but we've seen we've seen where we've got you know like new directors come out of the fucking gate and crush a fucking property true. because true. part of being a visionary is too is you have to make other people believe in you yeah, absolutely. You know. Yeah, I mean, it all depends. I mean, yeah, somebody sure, that depends. we talked a lot of now, factors. Yeah. That was good job of adapting early comic book stuff before he just started destroying it. Zack Snyder took on three hundred and crushed that fucking shit. And took yeah. on yeah. a Dude. property that nobody thought you could make it Don't to a film. Watchmen. No, I was gonna say Watchmen. Oh, Watchmen. Yeah. Watchmen. Yeah. That that was a fifteen year process of director attached, walk away. Director attached, walk away. Yeah. And Zack Snyder took it on and did. Pretty good job. About as good as you can as you expect. can do. Yeah, yeah. with not making yeah. that a series. I, I think yeah. that movie is awesome. I like. Yeah, I still no, rewatched that. So that's movie. what I'm saying is, is that's there. That's a property that nobody they didn't think that you could make it, and it got made. Yeah, into I mean, a same thing movie. with Sin City. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I they mean, came out and fucking just blew load everywhere. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Uh, speaking of blowing load everywhere, uh, for our send off for this episode, we're going to be doing our our uh, little segment that we like to call "Making a Drunken Scene." <laughs> Making a drunken scene. <laughs> where's my couch? Yeah, where's my spectacle? Yes. Yes. A little different for this one. Instead of uh, doing a scene, since we were talking about all sorts of different stuff, I thought it would be more fun for us to read uh, some of the reviews from Morbius. Oh, <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. As the... Uh, uh. As the fodder oh, for here this. we go. Oh, and of course, you, you of course, right to Rotten Tomatoes on this one. Yeah, so I, I'm going to read the the smallest one so I can get out of the way so Stephen can see the screen. But um, and because it mentions Birdemic, uh, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to do it as the Chicken Lady from Kids in the Hall. Oh shit! I'm sorry, I'm not going to go on down down that rabbit hole. Kids in the Hall, baby. Yes, uh, we didn't touch on that. No, nope. the specific structure and creativity of Birdemic. This one's for you. 
we can. That's Were you just getting cool. poked in the ass all the time. Cinematic. Right? Yeah. I mean, Style where where was your other hand, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> right hand here. Check. Hand check. <laughs> <laughs> on. Did the mics pick that up? It was on the armrest. <laughs> all right, so uh, we've who, got who, we've got a few who, other who got choices here. here. What do we got here? Uh, what do we got? Uh, yeah, all of them are long. Oh boy. Uh, I I think the what after me is a pretty meaty little. Yeah. Get oh, here. Uh, or or any of the other ones. I'll take below. uh. We can uh, scroll too. I'll take the Drew thin and the tin and that's fine. We can go with that. Okay. <clears throat> Playing living vampire, Leto goes the benefit of introducing a Spider Man villain that's never been seen in live action before. Unfortunately, his performance and most of Morbius as a whole are layered in melodrama. And CGI fuckery. <laughs> well, fakery. Fakery. But, yeah, but, fuckery, fuckery, fuckery also. also yeah. but, but that accent works, but either way. It's so, yeah. CGI fakery, I see it. <laughs> I see it. CGI fakery. Fakery. <laughs> Uh, you want to do next because you're. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to so scroll just, down a little bit so you guys get a little bit more. I'll options just do the here. one under it, I guess. I don't. Yeah. Or. They're all, yeah. Ta- they're all, they're all like. <laughs> yeah, they're, all, they're all bad. They're all bad. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll just do this one here. Okay. All right. This was remarkably bad and somehow <laughs> bored me to tears despite the insanity ben Stein. on screen. No, Walter, I'm not talking about that. Oh, the plot had more holes than Swiss cheese. But the I'm character's not. development was non-existent. Please keep the MCU far, far away from what Sony is doing. Was that a putty? (laughs) Was that a putty? Scroll up a little bit more for me. That was awesome. (laughs) I was like, putty slash Eeyore, because you sounded so depressed. Okay. Simply put, Morbius is one of the laziest, shallowest, most pathetic attempts at a movie blockbuster in some time. Original score, zero. I think that was from the comic book guy from Simpsons. Yeah. I think is uh... um, close. Very close. But yes. <laughs> Worst we, we, movie we've been, ever. We've Worst. been watching a lot of Malcolm in the Middle and Malcolm's friend in the wheelchair who's... Oh, Stevie. <sighs> oh, Stevie. Stevie yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I hated the movie. <laughs> It so much. Because <laughs> it was those pauses that would kill you. Yeah. Yep. It. God, that was another show sucked. that was just revolutionary style. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the whole series is on Hulu right now. So we've been know. kicking it back through on that. And life is it. unfair. <laughs> life is unfair, yes. <laughs> Very true. Yep. Very true. So on that note, yeah. uh, I think that's the most that we needed to spend on Morbius <laughs> is just reading four reviews of it and then, yes. <laughs> and Done. then walking away. <laughs> it's fucking train wreck. I still haven't Jeez. met anybody's actually seen it. I, I don't know anybody's seen it. I think I've I think I might have one or two friends that have seen it, but like that that's the thing. In <laughs> our movie nerd- like that nerd of yeah. That's that a should, lot. That's yeah. that's a really sad amount of people yeah, that have right. seen. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's saying that speaks volumes. I meant that's I mean, a yeah, lot. Yeah. That, my, speaks, that speaks. My my rule: I always have to watch at least once to properly shit on yes, it. Oh no, I, I'm I will watch it once. I'm definitely waiting until it's on one of the random streaming services or whatever that I already pay for, so I'm technically not losing money. Yeah, yeah. you're like so, I can do well, this. Well, I have the, and watch it. I have like the right card. It. So for me, it's just like leaving my house. That's the problem. Well, that's how you, much I give a fuck about watching. That's still it. way more of a step than I'm willing to yeah, take. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that like, says a lot. Like I pay for the regal pass, and I'm still not willing to like leave my. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, like, get a car and drive <laughs> there. That yeah, seems like a lot terrible, of effort. Man. The one thing I'll find is, is instead of Morbius, maybe spend some time with something that has ruined my fucking life in the best way humanly possible. Revolutionary filmmaking that is in my top five favorite films of all time. Is oh yeah! Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, yes, you see that? is so, so good. Fucking, not only is it incredible, and it's hitting so many different marks of it's. It's incredibly funny. Yes, it's incredibly insightful. Yes, it's heartwarming. It's tragic. It, yes, it deals with a lot of like uh, challenging things that will maybe ruin you if you come from the right background or experience. I I want to talk about this movie for the geek fathers. 
like oh for God. an episode because of just that whole mother daughter dynamic yeah, stuff it, happening oh and everything. It, oh it's, fuck, dude! This movie and not only so that, but good. it had a like I think a thirty million dollar budget, and it looks every bit of a hundred thousand plus a million movie. Right. Oh, oh, I, I heard it sucked. I, I heard a lot of people hated it. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, no I just want to get no, it all no, wrong. No, I see no. this much excitement. Like, yeah, I heard like no, it's pretty I, fucking I, terrible. I do plan on going to see it uh, because I mean, it this it trailer just looks goddamn gorgeous. I will, oh, dude, I will say so this good. just real quick. Stunning. Is this that movie? Is the first because the only movies that have done business so far have been already built in sequels, blockbusters based on properties people know. Mm-hmm. In the way, this movie is the first kind of word of mouth we've had to come out since theater started reopening. Well, like it's the first really that, yeah, because everything else has been built in your fast and furious, your Marvel properties, things that you already have that are kind well, of dependent. Well, the next one would be a big tell is get out. Right. But you still have a, tr- you still have somebody you're talking about Jordan Peele's. Yeah. It's Jordan right. Peele. You're talking about, but you no, already know Jordan us did Peele. not do nearly as well as get out. did. Right. But I'm talking about, that's already still kind of a problem. You're talking about the built-in audience that liked Swiss Army right. Man. It's not exactly the biggest yeah, audience saying, in the this, world. This movie, the movie right. they're talking about, this is your first word of mouth to come out since we, things reopened. Yeah. yeah. And very much uh, the reason why this movie is getting so much conversation online is word of mouth. Like, yeah. it's not yep. their big advertising. You see some advertisements, but they got a low advertising budget. Yeah. It's literally... Everybody talking about how well, I found out about because I, I follow Jamie on uh, Instagram, and so she was posting tons of stuff mm-hmm. about filming and so on and so forth. So like I've known it, it. Me personally, like if you follow certain actors that are involved with the properties, mm-hmm. you you get more of that build up and too. You can yeah. tell how much fun she was having in her roles. Oh, did you watch? There's a whole uh, Instagram yeah. thing about the warm up she made the whole cast do. Uh, beforehand, it was like this weird stretching and like breathing with pelvic thrusts and shit. Jesus. It's hilarious. Wow, it was like. <sighs> it's fucking hilarious. I, I just, like, and part sorry. of it, like, sticking her gut out and just trying to look as yeah. fucking miserable and weird as possible. And you're like, this is, this is Lori. Like, yeah, right. right. Yeah. Well, no, this is uh, the hot ass wife <laughs> tripping in fucking true lies, baby. Damn right. Well, then you see <laughs> yeah. her at the yeah. premiere and she's, like, still fucking stunning. You're like, man, oh, yeah. that's she's, acting. She's but, gorgeous. but I mean, gorgeous. well, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michelle Young. Right, mm-hmm. and then um, the the dad is a uh, fucking data and short round and short yeah. round, yeah. Short you round, know, yeah. fuck. Well, he's just didn't he just do the Tonight Show about it? I don't know. Oh, or he's <laughs> coming on the Tonight Show. No, or something? He, he went on a few, and like his whole conversation is that after he did those roles, he was like, oh, he was a kid, so he's like, yeah, it's normal that you know a kid gets these roles, and he realized, like, oh wait. There's no Asians in movies. Like I lucked out for the two roles of Asian kid I got. The two yeah. Big, yeah. yeah, yeah, the two right. biggest roles in yeah. the '80s movies. Yeah, yeah. He's in. yeah. 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 And then check after, and check. And then it was the dude that played Long Duck Dong in uh, the John, <laughs> the John yeah. Holmes movie. Right. The, uh, yeah, so there's John no, Hughes. There's no Gong John Hughes. every time Hughes he says yeah. Data in fucking Goonies. All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, but sure. so after that, he's like, he was trying to act, and it, there weren't roles for him. So we went into the background of filmmaking where he he was involved. Yeah, in a lot I knew of that he was still stuff. involved with like yeah. Hollywood stuff, but not I, like you said yeah. behind the scenes. But yeah, he's over the moon about being involved in this. Um, he he was like, yeah, best best movie to come back to. <laughs> oh right, shit, yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And he was he was raving about Shang Chi and and how there's a lot more Asian representation in American cinema. And he's like so over the fucking moon about it. He's a big avid supporter of that, and that's really fucking Good. cool. Like, Good, that's great. And there's nothing about this movie that suggests it needs to be anything better or different about its representation. It's it's no. exactly what it's supposed to be, and fuck, it's good. Um, yeah, yeah and it and it does have low low pan in it too. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm horrible about, about the names, but I just I oh, didn't know the the elderly Asian man the grandfather in every film that yes. ever existed. That that motherfucker is low pan and will always be yeah. low pan from Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yes. I mean, that's totally what Tarantino went for in fucking Kill Bill Part 2. That yeah. was straight low yeah, pain. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, so on that note, we have to leave you for this uh, uh, last uh, part of uh, the two-parter Aww. of GUI's free play anniversary episodes. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you sticking around and enjoying all the, all the craziness. And uh, make sure to rate, review, subscribe. It would do us such uh, uh, as a gift to us on our anniversary. Um, the, the seven your anniversary is the review anniversary where you go on uh, websites where you could review and review the podcast that you love for, for a gift for us, uh, review us, rate us on Apple or Podchaser or I think podcast addict does reviews or wherever you can do reviews. 
tell the world how much you uh, have a middling appreciation of this show. And uh, and we would appreciate. You don't even it. have to love us; just kind of like us. Just kind of like us. Yeah, just, just, yeah, like yeah, yeah. And uh, and we'll find you next time for another episode of Geeks Under the Influence. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Mike the Hobbit. Join us or die. Shut the fuck up, Hobbit. For seven years. Oh. God damn. <laughs> Join us or die. GUIPodcast.com Duh, explosion! Yeah. Yay!